And Deb, we are learning tonight that this isn't the first brush with the law for Daniel. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us live in the newsroom. And Ron, you did some digging today and you learned that Daniel has a long criminal history and was just in a courtroom three days ago. Well, that's right. Daniel was in a Cleveland municipal courtroom this past Monday on a petty theft case. A security guard says Daniel was caught on surveillance tape stealing $127 worth of shower curtains from a Home Depot. That was on August 27th, five days before a woman was raped on September 2nd. He was detained by that guard but let go when Cleveland police did not respond. Home Depot filed charges anyway, but we've got a whole lot more on him. Back in 2000, Daniel pleaded guilty to burglary and was sentenced to a year in prison. Three years later, he pleaded guilty to receiving stolen property and spent nine months behind bars. A year later, in 2004, he began another five years in prison for felonious assault. And in 2010, Daniel was back in prison again, this time for robbery. In fact, Daniel just got out of prison last March, and he was first picked up by Cleveland police a few months later, in June for driving with a, with a revoked driver's license. Court records show Daniel lives on the same street where that September 2nd rape occurred, but about a mile away. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.